Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello if you're one of my new subscribers. So today I'm going to be doing a brand banter on MAC Cosmetics. I am in a bit of a dilemma. Um, everybody knows that there was some drama between Jackie Ina and Petty Page where Jackie Ina falsely accused Petty Page of a felony and has yet to apologize on YouTube. So therefore, since Jackie Ina is the face of Too Faced, I decided I'm definitely boycotting that brand. Well, come to find out that Estee Lauder is the parent company of Too Faced as well as Mac. So therefore, even though I have these products, um, I will not be purchasing and supporting them anymore, which pains me. Um, now, Mac is a great company. Now, this is why I kind of, I've had a love-hate relationship with Mac. I've had a lot of really bad experiences in Mac stores, and perhaps I'll have to start doing story times on those. Um, their cosmetics way back when in the day, they were never my favorite. Recently, I had picked up what I'm going to show you here, and I fell back in love with MAC. Um, as a company, it's amazing. They celebrate diversity like no other company I know. Any age, sex, race, anything, they welcome. They, what, <laughs> I love that they're a Canadian company. They started in Toronto and then they launched in their store in March of 1984. Yes, I have notes. Everybody should know by now if you've watched me a long time, I, I make notes on everything. So in 1994, so 10 years after they opened, they made the Max, Max, Mac AIDS Fund and they made a line called Viva Glam and proceeds from that would go to their foundation. To date, they have raised $380 million for the Mac AIDS Fund. They've had Lady Gaga, Pamela Anderson. I bought their very first Vivo Glam lipstick and I wanna say it was RuPaul. That, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. In 1994, they were bought by Estee Lauder. And, oh, Estee Lauder, companies need to be held responsible, but I'm wavering a bit just because, like, they also own La Mer, um, Glam Glow. They seem so far removed from Too Faced themselves, but I'll have to do some thinking on that. Anyway, we're not talking about my personal struggles. So I will show you what I have and I will swatch the items and I know that a very dear friend of mine, Metamorphosis Rocks, avid diva, wanted to see swatches of especially the purples that I have. So stay tuned, it's coming. So first off, I think the, well besides everybody has Mac Fix Plus. Now this one is the coconut one, I also have the original one. Um, I used to swear by it, used to love it. I've now found a better setting spray that I use. So it's good. I use it to wet brushes and it's fantastic for that. So besides the Fix Plus, the, one of the first things I bought was the Patrick Star. This is the Glam AF palette. Now, this is a great palette. So I will swatch these for you. So it has brulee, oh my God, saddle and embark. So I'm gonna assume that this is brulee. So it's just a nice soft color. So then this is the Oh my God, which is a nice, I believe they call them satins. Let 
Then we have, this one is Saddle. I believe Saddle is like a, um, one of the cult favorites. I think everybody and their dog has Saddle. Now I'm not pushing hard by any means. I have too long of fingernails to do that. So, and this one is Embark. So as you can see, there is a lot of pigmentation in those. Um, I love that palette. I really do. I used it a lot. Um, so another palette that I picked up, and I picked this one up at Winners, is this MAC palette here. And it is just called Eyeshadow by 15 for Nordstrom. Uh, I won't swatch all of these. They're all nude. I think you guys kind of get the gist. The names are Gold Bit, Brulee, Bamboo, It's Personal, Buckwheat, Beige, Wedge, Chains of Love, Coquette, Mystery, Love Smoke, Chic as Can Be, Fashion Beat, Magic Moor, and Black Tide. And these are, they're the normal MAC formula. They're very nice. There are a lot of neutrals, so, you know, it's it's fun. It's still fun to work with. I should go back. So one of the first items that I got were the MAC paint pots. Now I have Soft Ochre or Painterly. I use these absolutely every single day that I put makeup on as a eyeshadow base. I think that they are just amazing. They have the right amount of stick for a look without being that stick where then you can't blend out. So I will go in with a brush and this is Painterly. So it's very nice and creamy and just a light pink. I don't even know if that's gonna show up well. And then I have soft ochre which is just a beigey undertone excuse that I, that was i believe a boxy charm video i did i'm doing a bunch of pre-recording because my internet is down and i don't know what order i'm going to be uploading these in but it is what it is so moving right along i picked up from Hot Look, Hot Look. I never know what the correct pronunciation of that is. It's H-A-U-T-E, is it Hot or Hot? Anyway, I picked up this Young at Heart Casual Color Lip and Cheek Color. I thought it was gonna be powder. I thought I could work with it if it was powder. It is a cream and let me tell you. I can't wear that on my cheeks. So I think I will be using that as potentially a lip color. It's nice. It smells nice too. So that's an advantage. I'm trying to clean my hands as I go because I have a lot of swatching to come up. So I also got in a boxy charm a MAC eyebrow pencil, Lingering Eyebrows, and it's cut. Oh, eyebrows. I'm not sure what the color. Maybe lingering is the color. I'm wearing it today. I really do like the formula. I love that it is so fine and precise. Oh, that finally came off. So it's nice that, you know, it's not in your face. Um, it's a little stiffer than most pencils, but to me that's okay. Um, I need some wiggle room. <laughs> as far as mistakes with my brows. So I very much appreciate that. Now I got the, and I mentioned this in another video, if it's up, I got the Mac Patrick Star, and I believe this was called the Summer Face, something along those lines. And in it, it has the Heat Stroke Eyeshadow times four. I love the packaging for this one. But again, like turquoise is like my favorite color. Um, focus. And I'm wearing that this palette today. 
So there is Sandy Crotch. That's uncomfortable just saying. Um, Brash, Ready, and Mauberhay. Mauberhay. So here is Sandy Crotch. This one is Brash. This is Ruddy. And the last one. Sorry, my camera died. So there's the swatches of the eyeshadow palette. Now in that set also came the Give Me Life bronzing powder. And it looks like this. And I'm wearing it today more as a contour than as a bronzer, just because the shade is a bit different than what I would use for an all over bronze. It is a very beautiful color though. And in fact, I can see this using this as an eyeshadow as well. Now with that kit also came two lip glass glasses. Normally I am not, usually I am not one for lip gloss, but for some reason these MAC ones, they smell good and I actually like them. So first off we have Fashion Punch. It's the nude kind of color. They smell good. So there that is. And again, it's just a nudish kind of a shade. And cream pie, which is a little bit more pinky. I think that's the, this is the one I'm wearing today. So they're very shiny. And I really, really, really do enjoy these. So now the next two I got were Miso Fleek and Miso Chic. And I'll try to cover those ones together just because I honestly can't remember which ones came with which. So we will start with the eyeshadow palettes. Now this is the Play With Me Eyeshadow times four. So here is the Play With Me Eyeshadow Quad. I have to say I'm not as crazy about the packaging for these ones. Like I know the flowers are cute, but I don't know why it just doesn't give me a good feel. The nice thing about MAC though is you, I can remove this gold part and just pop the shadows out and put them into a magnetic palette. So the first color is In Living Pink. Pretty. Then we have All's Rosy. And then we have Hickey. And In the Shadows. Now when I first saw these, I was a little scared but the great thing about MAC shadows is they're buildable so you can start off with just a slight tint to the colors and build them up to however vibrant you want or wet a brush and the color will just pop phenomenally so let's see if I can swatch that on the same arm the next one the next one, this one's for you, Roxana. Stay with me. And here it is. It's the exact same packaging as the other. And it's got all the pretty purples in it. So first color is Daddy Star. Let's switch it here. Which is a really nice mauve. Here's a question. I, w I met up with a girlfriend of mine down in the States. She's from Vegas. Here in Canada, maybe it's not even Canada, maybe it's just where I grew up. We say that color as mauve. 
mauve. Everybody else I know says mauve. How do you say it? Let me know down below. Is it mauve with a hard O or mauve? Anyway, second color is yes. Third color is Queen Patrick. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that one's looking a little patchy. I'm not sure why. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll you'll have seen all the looks I created with these. And the fourth one is Bon Newt, which is this deep purple. So these are, I don't know, there's just, no, I love them so much and I'm so disappointed. I have to do some real soul searching. So now along with each kit came, this one is the Take Me Home Powder Blush Duo. And a really cute little compact with the two colors. It has the flowers on the front. So the upper shade is this nice mauve mauve, but it does have a bit of a shimmer to it. And there's no name for and the lower shade is just a bit deeper. Now these, for some reason, are very reminiscent of, to me anyway, of the Charlotte Tilbury blushes. Um, if you watched my brand banter on Charlotte Tilbury, if I can figure out how to link the video, I will, and it'll appear either like up here or maybe here. But anyway, um, they've got the two-tone blushes all the time, the swirl and pop idea. And for some reason, these duo type things remind me of that. So then this is the I'm Not Blushing Powder Blush Duo. Make sure my hand is dry. So this one is more of the apricot, warmer tones, kind of. So we have the light pink. And the more brown. So much more neutral, but I am wearing this one today. So there is color to it. Um, and I love it. it it's, a, it's a great formula. So on to lips so each of those kits me so chic and me so fleek came with a lipstick and a lip gloss so i will do the bullet lipsticks first and they smell phenomenal so this is sweet mama star hmm. And then we have Hey Boy Hey. And it's definitely from, I think, the Miso Chic, I think. I honestly can't remember now. I should have saved the packaging. Like the formula of these is so good. And we have Queen P, which is this super sparkly lip gloss. And I was a little terrified when I first saw this, but it is not bad. Really, all it does is give a bit of an iridescent -y shimmer to whatever color you're wearing underneath. So it is not unwearable. I think anybody can wear this. And then Kiss, something Kiss. And it is a gold type champagne-y shimmer. And again, it's a lip glass. Hmm. And again, it's it's not going to show anything just because. But a great formula. Normally, I hate lip gloss. I detest lip gloss with every fiber of my being. Your hair gets stuck in it. You always feel like you've got stringers going on, whatever. Not the case with these. They stay tacky, so they don't dry right down like a lipstick, but they're not uncomfortable and sticky, if that makes any sense. 
So the last three items that I got, and they came in a set, and I got these at Winners, and these are the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. So they're all three of these colors. So first we have Tailored to Tease, which is this hot pink. Now the doe foot on these is different. I don't know if it's because they're remastered, so they're a, a different ordeal, but very, very smooth, very pigmented. Love that. The next color is Recollection, which is this purple shade here. Ooh, if I can open it. I've worn it before, so I must have been not happy or something when I closed it. Again, very pigmented, very smooth but not unwearable, which sometimes you see these types of colors and it's like, no. The last color we have is called Simply Smoked. And it's like a, I don't know, brown, gray, purple mix. So I know that Roxy, I don't know if she likes being called Roxy. I shouldn't call her that. Um, Avid Diva. Wanted to see what this actually looked like on. So I'm going to do that for her. And I will show her what it looks like on. She thought it looked like wet cement. Now these don't smell as good as the other ones. Okay, not the best application job. Oh, I missed a whole bunch. But as you can see, it's not, it is dark. There's no denying it. But it's not unwearable. And actually when I wore this, I had put on the purple shade and then it was way too bright that day. So I muted it down with this. So if you still want a dark lip, like you don't want to put a nude on to tone something down, this worked. This formula is a bit more sticky than others. Like you can, <sighs> dang it all, it, it stays. So I'll be wearing this. Good thing I don't have to film anymore today. Anyway, that's my Mac brand banter video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please look down below and give me that thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. I am hoping to reach a goal of either 400 or 500 subscribers by July 13th, my birthday. And yeah, I enjoyed spending some time with you. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And until next time, I love you so much. Bye. Hi, so I'm back. It's me in the future. Well, present time now, future from when that video you just watched was filmed. I'm going to need to eat some crow. And I actually just received another order of MAC Cosmetics that I had purchased. So rather than try to mesh it all in because the video you just watched is probably way long enough, I am going to do a part two. And yeah, so if you want to see me uh, own my truth and come to a revelation, make sure that subscription button is pressed and that your bell is on and Stay tuned for part two. See you soon. Bye.